your favorite moguls time your favorites 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 time you know what time it is zara rights reserve we back in the building reasons to live reasons to live you remember all the snippets they showed about Tentacion said he'd rather, rather him go out than someone else. I believe it. But they're saying that he didn't want to live anymore. Different things that he's ready to go. Remember, we've seen this synonymous with a lot of superstars. They were saying it. Was this not a marketing ploy he's seen done by some of the greatest to ever do it? That's arguable. Did he really have reasons to live? And was loyalty foiled in the basis of someone looking into him intently and finding the opportunity to act on friends to foes is this a fast way that we've seen friends become foes the very simplistic idea was there plotters was there planning all of these things we talked about did he really have reasons to live now let's get back to the understanding he cared a lot about his mother we know that was he willing to give it all for his mother? To an extent, I believe. But did that narrate the fact that he deserved to be in the situation he was in? I don't think that justifies it. Matter of fact, I think those are just excuses for someone to validate themselves and, and acting on a moment to do this. So who was it? And how many people had the ability to work together to do this? We went over Fraud Oceans 11, 12, 13 or more how many how much wealth was in the boundary for someone to enact on how much reasoning was used in order to put this plot together plots we see the suspects how did they get the cue in order to act think about it this is so much happening in such little time that it leaves little disregard for us to even look at anything else because they only play the snippets that matter and approving a certain viewpoint and taking him out do you get that do you get that you have to understand that if you ain't get that i'm sorry if you don't get friends or foes how real can you be how real can it be let's be honest we talked about keeping the enemies closer and why the ideology is that my enemy is my best friend and my friends truly my enemy who was really there plotting all this time he was putting in work who was working with the enemy that delegated that i am an enemy and i'll never be your friend think of that reasons to live he had a reason to be here he had an album that was about to slam through the market that was well done skins we've seen that there was a lot that made sense in what he did. Why did they play him out that way? Why'd you play with him that way? And people are like, oh, they're still talking. Yeah, we are. Because a lot of people's careers are still buzzing off of him. Period. And that's a fact. I want someone to prove that people's careers are not buzzing off of him. And it's not just one or two, it's a lot of people. There were people making music before then that had their buzz. But how many people came up off of it? Some people just started because of him. Really? And you can check the history. Almost 90,000 views off of my one video dealing with the whole scenario of T-Streets and all of that debacle with Zach TV. This isn't new. This is the czar. I told them. Yeah, if they didn't look, they're still lost. Like, oh, he's just... No, no. Again, check out the key words. Check out the key words and it proves me true. Period. Now, the Instagram situation. You already know how things were working. How people seemed like they were doing it for a grandiose scheme, helping a bunch of people. Okay. And you daily use that as your claim to fame. When there's barely anybody else other than the Queen Prodigies, the Zabellas, the Chris A, A, and a lot of other people who were putting in work on the backside to the front. And there's a lot of other larger YouTubers that give their opinion. Put me, listen, Zara All Rights Reserve, that is a key word. That is, put me in your title. Don't around, step around me. Talk. If you really got an issue with it, put me in the title so I can respond. 
Other than that, I'm not responding to the subliminals. I don't do that. Somebody was throwing subliminals. I'm not doing that. There's a lot of people that disappeared over the means after they were coming at me. I know nothing of that. But I will say this. You know how we rock. Comment their nation. Greatest nation since United Nations. I told you we were stacked. Whether your blood's red or your blood's blue or your blood's green or your blood's yellow. You know how we rock. You know it. The work's been put in. I, I lay the foundation. I give these bigger YouTubers something to hate. That's the foundation. I give you something to hate. The ones you boaster about. The biggest YouTubers you brag about having known. Oh, the witnesses that were fake. Oh, you brag about. You brag about your relations. I never needed them. They hit me up like, what you do is different, period. They're like, that's different, man. I didn't get it at first, but I see where you're going with it. Yes, fact. Not giving snippets out. If I do a snippet, it's a very informative snippet. The investigation, how the investigators acted. These are the people you count on to find justice for people you love. And the outcome you get is the outcome you get. And the energy I give is the energy you get. Period. Comment the nation. We let you drop your com comment below. Whether you love or you hate it. Comment below. Reasons to live. He had a reason to live. He had reasoning behind what he did. A legacy that cannot be for you. You got a lot of people making new songs, but what are they talking about? Period. What are you talking about? You're thinking of a young man that was helping people dealing with suicidal issues, people dealing with just life in general, pain, that was making songs for pleasure, letting people know, I went through this, I understand what you're going through. Is that not a legacy to be proud of? What's crazy is this legacy, people are like, oh, why are you talking about it? It's so powerful, it's going to supersede even the newest artist coming up that ain't talking about spit. You're not talking about spit. <clears throat> you ain't talking about spit. You can get a bunch of views off of it, but this is your legacy. This is the category when you're gone and the game moves on, people are going to remember you by if it's about me flaunting the chain, doing different stuff, what does it really even matter? But he had a reason to live. He was young. He had problems. He went through a lot. So what? He had a reason to stick around, period. He had a reason. He inspired a youth, a generation to do better for themselves. And they could talk about, oh, helping hand was some type of organization used to federally and trap. <laughs> Say what you want. But are you saying that about the artists out right now? None of you are talking bad about the artists right now. Matter of fact, all of you are bigging up the same artists that are doing everything that's more detrimental to the culture than ever before. And you're okay with it. You're okay with it. Because you find some type of power in it. In ignorance, you find power. Because sometimes we do like the ignorance. We do. I listen, I enjoy I listen to it sometimes, but that doesn't define life. That's the problem. It doesn't define life. What define life is fighting to live. There's a lot of people who live and ain't going to accomplish nothing. There's a lot of people who live and they're so selfish with their life. It's not going to inspire anything, not even their own children. That's a fact. You can't inspire a child because you're so selfish beaten broadened gotta have things your way and you're old and outdated but you know how we rock over here the greatest nations united nations from the bottom i ain't have nobody sitting there inspiring me to do this i did it i i say ready set go and i started sprinting we're running to the goal comment their galaxy comment their universe Grab a drink movement. Grab a drink during the ads. You know how I coined it. You know how we move. An influential generation that cannot be ignored. Period. We put the work in from the bottom. We eat together. We have a perspective. We perceive it. All of our goals and dreams in unison. It's all, oh, it's all a game until you see someone working hard. 
then you try and eat off their labor. It comes easy for some, but it came through hard work for us. Reasons to live. He had reasons to live, whether he realized it or not at that time. And it seemed like he started getting wits about himself. And then the hatred came out from certain people's hearts. And song, through slick comments. Oh, I know he's seen it. But he kept marching and putting money in people's pockets. How real is that? Now you tell me what defines real. The greatest nation since United Nations is in the building. And you know how I rock. How I always rock. All rights reserved.